everyone, I'm Dr. Sandra McStuffins, and today I am a pet vet here with our cute little puppy, Fino, and also our new pet right here, Squibbles. And today we're gonna do a checkup because I don't know what Squibbles is. We don't know if it's like a dog, a cat, a hamster, a ferret, I don't know, monster? I don't really know. So, uh, Fino's gonna help me here. We'll get Squibbles out of the box and do a little checkup to try to figure out what kind of pet it is. All right, so I have Squibbles out of the box here. I also have all of my checkup tools as a veterinarian. So um, first I figure we can check Squibbles' heartbeat. So let me do this really quick. Hmm. It's kind of like the same speed. It's like in between the speed of a dog and a cat. So I don't know. And I mean, Squibbles could be a hamster too or a monster, I don't really know. So now let's just check Squibble's ear. So like Findo is really easy. I can just check him right here, see a good puppy. And it looks good. Now let's kind of compare it to Squibble's ears and, wait a minute, I don't even know where to check here. It's like little poof balls on the top of his head. Um, I guess I can look, it looks totally different than Findo's ears, so that doesn't really help me much. Hmm, you know, actually, what we can do is the coat thickness, too. Uh, oh wait, Fino's got something to say. What's that, Fino? Okay, I don't speak dog. I have no idea what Fino's saying right now. But maybe it's some kind of clue. Um, let's let's check the coat thickness here. See, Squibbles is really soft. Like, probably the softest pet. Like, almost like bunny fur. So maybe it's like part rabbit? I don't know. And then Fino's got like short, cute little dog hair. Very brushable. So that doesn't really help me either. And I was looking at my big book of boo-boos here, and Findo, right here, has like two little puppy paw prints, so that makes sense. Squibbles though, we have a band-aid and like a little bouncy ball, so that doesn't tell me much either. <laughs> so let's do our last test. Um, I have some, I think Squibbles could be cat or a dog, I don't know. So I have two different types of food here. So we have cat food here in the pink dish and dog food in the green dish. So let's see what Squibbles wants. Hmm, oh, 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 Squibbles is going for the puppy food. Maybe it's a puppy. And okay, last test. Does Squibbles like the dog bone? Oh, it totally does. And I think Squibbles is a puppy. Yay! So, Fino, I think that's what Fino was trying to tell me the whole time, that Squibbles is a puppy just like him, just very different looking. All right, so now that we know that Squibbles is a dog, I think, right? <laughs> I'm pretty sure, 99% sure Squibbles is a dog. I wanna show you what this cute little spinning Squibbles does. So what you can do is push him down, Woo! and he moves around, isn't this cool? Ah! We don't have much table space. <laughs> But, whoa! And then he pops up just like the dog makes stuff in the show. And then if you press Squibble's head, he barks and makes cute little sounds. <laughs> like slurping. And it, and it kind of sounds like, arf, arf. so I think it is a dog. Isn't that cute? Okay, so let's have Squibbles spin around one more time. And there we go. Squibbles! Is he so cute? Wow! There we go. It's really exciting. Anyway, if you want to see me film more of the new Doc McStuffins Pet Vet Toys, then please like this video. Subscribe, and then also in the comments, let me know what you think. Do you think Squibbles really is a dog or some kind of other animal? Thanks for watching. Click on a picture to watch another fun toy video, and click on the question mark to watch a mystery video.